Hello, I'm so excited welcoming you to this beautiful month of June 2023. My name is Franklin Williamson and this is Encounters with the Power Seed on your favorite station, the Life Center Network, your gateway to possibilities. And this is Thursday, the 1st of June 2023. Our topic today says a life of extraordinary impact. And I want to prophesy that into your life for the month of June. You will have an extraordinary impact in the name of Jesus Christ. In whatever you do, in whatever you find yourself, receive grace to make impact. Receive grace to bring value. Receive grace to solve problems in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, our key text today is from Judge, Judges 3 verse 31. It says, and after him was Shemga, the son of Anath, which slew of the Philistines 600 men with an ox guard. And he also delivered Israel. Mark that word. He also delivered Israel. Because there's a possibility of killing 600 men. And yet, you don't win the battle. Because the soldiers could have been over a billion. But by virtue of his action, Israel was delivered. Praise the Lord. Background and thoughts on the text. Shamga is a name that may sound unfamiliar to you. Yeah, that's the truth. We learn who Shamga was at the very end of the third chapter of Judges. He was an ordinary person in an ordinary place, doing an ordinary job. <laughs> but God used him to achieve an extraordinary feat. That will be your testimony this month in the name of Jesus Christ. God will use you. In Jesus' mighty name. You see, I doubt Shamga ever expected to be used by God to save Israel. I doubt he expected it. When you take a closer look at his life, you will see several things that could have left him feeling like the wrong man. Four, a deliverer of Israel job title. Now, let's look at a few of those things. First is the matter of his background. Shamga is a name with Canaanites, not Hebrew. So he's not even, the name is, he's not, he's not a Jew, like a pure Jew. This fact has led some scholars to believe it's entirely possible Shamga was both Jew and Gentile, right? For him to be in the Jewish army, it could have meant that either his father or his mother was either a Jew or a Canaanite. So, and since God has had commanded his people not to intermarry with Gentiles, Shamga's lack of a pure bloodline from his parents could have easily led him to label himself an unlikely candidate for the mighty work of God. What is that label in your life? What is that weakness? What is that challenge? What is that thing that has happened that is making you want to label yourself right now as if you don't qualify? to be used by God this month. Listen. Now, another thing again with this Shamga guy is that there was this still a matter of his occupation. He was a farmer. Think about it. What is a farmer doing in the army? Not even that he's in the kitchen cooking for the <laughs> cooking for military men. He was in the war front. Maybe as a farmer, we can say, okay, now probably because he was a farmer, he could know how to cook. But then, farmer in the war front. You see, Looking at the organized 600 men, trained 600 men, what, what? Don't just think about this for a moment. This could be you. But if God could use him, I believe God will use you this month in the name of Jesus Christ. If you were Shamga, you probably would have asked God questions like, Are you sure you've got the right person? Are you sure I'm the one? You sure that I can be able to deliver this job? Maybe you are the one there right now doubting yourself whether you can be able to deliver that job, whether you can be able to do that business, whether you can be able to succeed in that venture that you want to get into. Hear me, this month, God will accomplish great things with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Application. In the simple verse, there are two things I believe Shamga did. Number one is that he offered God his willingness. So all I'm asking from you this month is that you offer God your willingness. Can you do that? You may feel small, 
but you cannot die small. Pastor said, you may feel small, but you cannot die small. So be willing and ready to be used by God. Be willing. Give God your willingness this month. That's all he wants from you. Because the Bible said where there is a willingness, there will be a performance. Just give God your willingness. Then number two, Shamga, he used what God gave him. He used what God gave him. He was a farmer. That means he knew how to either use the knife to cut down trees in the, in the bush, use the hole to dig up the ground. So he used it. Instead of not digging up the ground and cutting down trees, he used it to cut down men. <laughs> so he used what was in his hands. So the question I'm asking you right now is, what is in your hand? I don't mean the phone. I don't mean the pen. I don't mean the coffee cup. I don't even mean, I don't know what it is that you're holding right now in your, in, in your physical hand. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I don't mean that. What I'm asking you today is, what is that gift that you have? What is that talent that you have? What is that special ability you have seen in your life? What is in your hand? First of all, Shamka gave God his willingness. Secondly, he used what was in his hands. Pastor George said something, my pastor said something that I will never forget. He said, whatever you don't have now, you don't need it to succeed in life. Because if you had it, if you needed it badly, God would have put it in. So, and then he now said something again. He said, God has not left any of us with nothing. So, you may not have everything you may want right now, but there is something God has given to you for this month. So, look in words right now and ask yourself that question. What is the gift? What is the talent? What is the ability that I have? What is, the, what is that thing? Now, whatever it takes, take time to sharpen it. And choose to believe that God can use it when you humbly offer it up to him. Beloved, God is not limited by what or who you are. I say that again. God is not limited by your background. It's not limited by what or who you are. God can use you. Yes, you, he can use you. Do you long to live a life that has extraordinary impact this month? I want to plead with you. I want to beg you as I round up right now. Can you allow God to walk through you and use you this month for mighty works? Can you let him? Can you stop the struggle? Can you stop judging yourself? Can you stop being guilty? Can you stop, can you stop punishing you? Can you stop thinking you are not good enough? Can you snap out from that and allow God to use you? He wants to use you. Let's pray. Say, oh Lord, thank you for reminding me that you can use anyone and everyone. I willingly offer you all that I am and all that I have. I believe that who I am is enough to be used by you. I walk in the extraordinary today and throughout this month in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. My name is Steve Franklin Wilson and this is still Encounters with the Power Seed on your favorite station, the Live Center Network, your gateway to possibilities. Wow. Action point. I want you to declare on top of your voice right now. Say in the name of Jesus, I live a life of extraordinary impact. Say it again. I live a life of extraordinary impact. Until we come your way again tomorrow, I want you to keep living in this beautiful atmosphere filled with encounters. Bye-bye. There are men that rise by level. There are others that rise by favor. There are men that toil their way to the top. There are others the oil of God takes to the top. I am a man held by God. His oil has lifted me to the top. And today I want to invite you to encounter that God that lifts men. To encounter the God that changes destiny. 
To encounter a God that answers prayer. To encounter a God that can make you what you want to be. I want to invite you to meet a God that can never fail. And today, your life will change for good. Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? Oh, Yahweh, is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never, never, never fails. Is it Chimo? Is it Chimo? You're the God who never fails.